Alrighty, welcome to Wild Card Wednesday, where I play something totally random. And this week's random video, random game, is um, is a hack. A fan-made, cobbled-together, playable version of Resident Evil 1.5, which is a... Uh, it was what Resident Evil 2 was originally supposed to be. It was scrapped in the middle of production and shelved away forever. Included enemies that you didn't see in the game, a lot of rooms, and um, and characters that well, Elza Walker, the uh, the one of the main female characters you were supposed to be able to play as, was scrapped and never heard from again. Uh, a lot of there, a lot of differences between this and what we uh, ended up getting. I had mentioned this whole little uh, Resident Evil 1.5 thing, which is unofficially dubbed as Resident Evil 1.5. Um, I you know I had mentioned it in the uh, in the walkthrough. I sorry to say that I don't have the information in front of me. I did not come prepared for this on who made this and um, you know what how they did it or anything like that. I just know that it was it was put together quickly, not put put together quickly. What the fuck am I talking about? It was uh, it was not put together quickly. It took a while, and it's being pre it's being periodically updated. That was incorrect. Anyway, what is correct that is that this is Resident Evil 1.5, at least, uh, you know, a, a playable version of it because the the prototype or whatever it was they were able to get their hands on was unplayable. You couldn't even go through rooms, so uh, and a lot of work had to be done. And I haven't really played much of this. I just played en just enough to just to confirm that it worked and and all that good stuff. I also I don't know how long this game is either. Um so we'll see how that goes. I might not play uh you know if, if I can beat the game, I may do this in installments. We'll see how it goes cuz I'm not looking to make this a really long video. Anyway, I'm going to play as Elsa because when else am I going to be able to? You know, I've played enough as Leon for the uh for the video. Now, I it's my understanding that um that when you play as and this was what the original intention was for Leon and Elza to start off in completely different uh starting points and then I don't know if they meet up in the middle or the end or how they intercede, but they have totally different starting points, and you know the story is going to be much different. This is uh, I know I know one thing is I know there's a lot of text for um, you know to replace cutscenes that you that couldn't be done. You know a lot of this is 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 I mean it's a fan-made game so. I wonder what these drawings are, like these shots here. If this was, if this was also fan made, or if this was the, these were, you know, images that were that were picked out of the prototype or not. Anybody that has any information on this, feel free to share in the comments. I don't know if I can save in this either. I really, I'm not sure to what extent. Uh, all right, so I do have the auto aim. All right, so start is the. Uh, whoops, uh, I can't access the map. I cannot access the map. No, I hit the wrong button. That's why. All right, cool. I have the whole map. Don't need to collect it. I know one thing that, um, one reason why the, the game was scrapped is they didn't, they were going for a more modern, uh, design with the police station, you know, instead of the old mansion, you know, they wanted it to be more of like an urban, uh, environment. 
Oh, I accidentally accessed that again. Let's not make it three times a trump. All right, so I've got several doors I can go through. This one, this one, I think there's one on the other side, too. There is. Okay, so it's like, hmm, where do I go? What do I do? Is there any other item I can pick up? Nope, it's just... Basically an open room with no with no items. I'm also not sure if the item placement was 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 decided upon by the uh, Marvin. He was the police officer in the game. Um, if it was what? The, oh, all right. Here we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Did I get, take the first aid spray? I did. Okay. So they did keep some of the uh, music. I don't know if this was... Again, I don't know if that's... I thought that was a clip that I was... Uh, I saw that other door. No, that is the restroom. Well, I don't plan on going in there anyway. Is this an old cigarette machine? Looks like one of those vending machines that they had for cigarettes. So yeah, Square is the... Is like the, uh, the confirmation button. But X is still... X is still like the action button. But for selection, for like through the menu, I use square. It's, it's kind of weird. And there was no loading screen for that door. What the hell? Yeah, alright. So, they, you know, like, there's, there are, there are, you know, obviously flaws here. I'm not gonna go down to the, you know, I'm not gonna change floors yet. I always, whenever I'm exploring... Alright, I'll ask. I will take the ammo. Alright, let's, um... Combine. Yeah, I like to stay on the same floor when I'm, uh, stay on one floor and, and explore that first and foremost, rather than get myself all over the place. It's what Barry suggested in the very first game, and I tend to agree with that. Alright, so I think I, uh, so yeah, it's not showing me where I've been, though. It's the one thing about this, you get the map right away thing. Also, it's not showing me what room I'm in. Unless I'm missing something. No, it looks like it's not showing me. So, you know, hey, what are you going to do? It's not a perfect uh, ROM or anything like that. But, you know, uh, it's it, the fact that we even have it to begin with is cool. Now, I'm glad... Uh, they're just the ones behind the, uh, behind there. I'm gonna check some of these other doors here first. Um, I'm, you know, I'm glad that they went the direction they did. I, I think Resident Evil 2 is what it should have been. I like that. It's, it's a fantastic game. Uh, and I wouldn't have it any other way. But there's always, like, the curiosity of what this was going to be. And I, I feel genuinely bad Oh, shit. All right, I'm gonna... I can get a good overview of the lobby. Okay, but I can also get a good overview of the zombie. Oh, and looks like multiple other zombies? Yes, there are. Okay, so... Good thing we have a lot of bullets here. This guy's not dead. Wow, that's some creepy-ass sounding zombie. No, this guy. That was a fire's pretty good, uh... You know, a rapid rate. This guy's still freaking alive. I'm gonna have to get some distance here. Oh. Oh, I missed that. Well, heavy said zombie. They th that was something that did not. Um, come on, come on. Let's get it together here. 
that was something that was not in the final version. Or the, uh, you know, the fatter zombies. They did, they did have the females. Boy, these zombies sound like... They sound friggin' terrifying. I don't know if that's... I mean, I'm auto-aiming, and I'm still missing some of these shots. So I don't know if that's, you know, a bug in the ROM, too. Or if I... If that maybe that, um... You're alive, I know. Or if I fucked up, or if it's just, you know, the hit detection is just genuinely, um, uh, not as forgiving. Yeah, um, we still got more of these guys alive. Oh boy, and one at my feet, too. Christ. So many freaking zombies. Like I said, it's a good thing that there are a million of uh, uh, these bullets. Is there something like, like, these guys don't die or something? They just keep they just keep getting up. I think that this is all right. I'm just gonna shoot them and run. Like that's gonna be how this works. Cause I taken some of these guys down multiple times. All right. Hopefully there's nobody over here. Fuck. I mean, you know, if I would have known this. I, uh, I would not have shot these guys, or at least shot them as many times as I had to. And I don't, there don't seem to be any useful items in here. What was this? Everything's locked. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, any, nothing useful. Very, uh... Just a waste of time and ammo is all this place was. But, at least I didn't get bit. ourselves a cutscene. You know, it's not like there was any voice acting for this game. Bump the shutter behind me, yep. Well, I might as well uh, shoot him and run. Zombie back here? Or? Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure what I was dealing with. I do have to be closer. Like I said, I didn't play much of this, so I don't know what I'm getting myself into. At least we got a lot of bullets. Ah! Yeesh. You do not go down, do you? Man, these zombies are freaking scary sounding. And, I, you know, scarier too is that they freaking don't die. Oh, they, that finally she goes down. This is the invincible zombie, though. Look at this shit. All right, yeah. So there was, uh, there was clearly some, <laughs> there were clearly some bugs and and flaws and everything. Because that one particular zombie, it wasn't like all these female zombies are uh, indestructible, but that one right there will just take bullet after bullet and it won't matter. Wonder if it'll be the same with like a, if I got a shotgun or another weapon. 
So far, the only items I've been getting are bullets. I wonder if there are puzzles in this or if it's just, you know, a... Similar to a, uh, one of those games, one of those, uh... I did not, I was not at that door. Like, uh, those Sir Gun Survivor, uh, bonus games where you just, you know, try to run through... Ah, shit! Get off of me. Get the fuck away from me. So that, you know, pushing that button and opening that up did nothing. Whoopsie daisy. Another thing, too, is I'm not so sure of my health. Uh, so I'm in caution. Yeah, so I did not... Um, I did not... You know, you don't have the, um, the visual of your health or lack thereof. Is there a downstairs? No, it's just, just a bunch of bullshit. Whoa! Moonwalking over there. Alright, now we'll go up to the second floor. I kind of see what they, you know, what they mean by the whole, like, the dullness of this, of uh, the design. You know, they spruced it up with enough... Oh, what the hell? Well, that's awesome. I... Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, too. You know, it might just be like this is just simply a, uh, a means of exploring the, 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 the place as opposed to having a fully functioning game. <clears throat> Which is still cool. I mean, it's cool to just to be able to do this, like I said. All right, so we got the radio room and medical room to the left, media room to the right. This is a, a, a rarity here where they actually, they, there are signs and helping, you know, giving you direction on where to go. I don't know if it's a good idea. Last time I pushed the button, it did not lead to anything that I would have liked. And what was with the gunshot? You know, I heard a gunshot and, whoop, it's a zombie. Jeez, these guys are fucking terrifying. So far, I've done a lot of recycled music from Resident Evil 2. The the opening, though, well, in that first room that I was in, that was uh, a a, a, uh, a track I had never heard before. I so I guess I can't get in here yet. So there'll be something voice related that I will need, and I'm thinking once that activates, these guys are gonna rise. Like, their, their bodies are off right now, and it, you push that button, it triggers them to uh, spruce up. Alright, get you away from me. Oh, right, I came out of here, so let's see what we got over here in the medical room. Sounds like zombies going for a swim. Nope, they are eating something. Probably another human. Or what was a human. If I tiptoe, they won't know I'm in here. Nope, they know I'm in here. No signs of life. Yeah, this looks like uh, <laughs> looks like there's no signs of life at all. Well, let's, let's count these guys. So yeah, every item I found are um, are health related. I mean, of course you expect to find that in the medical room. This guy's still feasting. He says, I don't want any part of this chick. Well, I kind of... Test my, uh... Test out the whole... Will all these zombies continue to just... Rise after I kill them every... Or knock them down enough times. Or if, um... Come on, I'm not hitting any of them? Oh, now he gets up. Alright, you know what? Because it might be, you know, those uh, those zombies that I failed to kill before might just be those zombies and not these other ones. I just want to, you know, give that a, a look-see. Nah, they, they're all freaking alive. They're just going to continuously be alive. The, the, the eternally living dead. Alright, let's go this way.
Yeah, I don't know if that first song that I heard at the, in that that intro, the intro stage, it's not working. Oh, of course. All right, so I have to turn on some power. Maybe, maybe there'll be some puzzles coming up here. More bullets. It's been bullets. I said it was just. I was just getting health related. Of course, there was. You know, I've been getting ammo too. I can. There's still two radios. Three radios. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, okay. This is cool. Now, where do I want to push these stairs? Oh, my God. It's just... This... They're all like this. Gotcha. Nothing inside the locker. Is there anything on top of the locker? Maybe. It's, it's the closest thing to any capacity of... No, nope. all right. Well, you know, there could be something elsewhere in this room. I don't see anything, though. Is there anything up here to reach? Maybe that vent? That'd be kind of, uh... I don't know, semi-cryptic, I guess, but... I mean, the thing is, you do, you should know, like, hey, these stairs. We've got to be useful for something, so it's not like it's, it's not like it's extremely cryptic. And there was the vent, all right, so that was kind of a wild guess. Oh, wow, here we go. Different music. Like I said, oh yeah, I meant to say before, oh shit, all right, I'm not going to climb... Are these birds gonna fucking die if I kill them? Are these bats? No, they're crows. Yeah, killing crows in these games is not one of the easiest things to do. Is there any reason for me to climb it? Oh, is this another vent? It is. Alright, so... I was, like, starting to wonder if there's any usefulness to this room whatsoever. I'm back here again. All right, so we've we've found a shortcut through these rooms, but here we are again, back to where we were. Right, so I went through the medical room. I don't. Did I come this way? I don't know if I. Yeah. This is where I was went through the vent, and I ended up back up there. All right, so nothing in here. I'm, I'm kind of at a dead end of sorts. So let's go back entirely and try uh, another floor. Yeah, it seems like we there's no power to the building, but there are lights on and other such things, but there's a lot that is not on. Alright, so this is the top floor of the station, the third floor. I'm wondering if those if those songs that we uh that were not in Resident Evil 2 or anything else. I don't know, you know, I don't know if they're in another game like Dino Crisis or something that I'm not recognizing. If that's the case, you know, point that out, somebody. Because I did play, I mean, I did play Dino Crisis, but in Devil May Cry and the other, like, you know, Capcom games that were kind of Resident Evil-ish. But, uh... And I don't remember those soundtracks quite as well. Right, so this isn't look. I don't think this is meant for a puzzle. You know, we've got this, these statues, which are reminiscent of the uh, well, reminiscent there. 
complete rips of the ones that were in more zombies right no a door is there any reason to push this though like either of these statues is there a thing underneath here All right, like I'm not going in there, I guess. All right, we are outside. Ah, okay, so I'm climbing down. I was like, starting to wonder if I could... Alright, so this is where Leon starts off. So, there's, there's the connection there. Alright, get away from me. Fine. There is nothing to do up here. And back downstairs we go. I tried this door, right? This was locked. Locked from the other side. Is this, can I get in here? I'm, you know, just, I'm quite haphazardly playing this. You know, I'm not, uh... Oh, all right. This is... So we got ourselves a... To scale Raccoon City uh, model. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, is that the chief? Yeah, it is. Wow, the irons is way nicer in this um, in this game than he turned out to be. He's like, oh, just just go ahead, leave me alone. This is the chief that he's he definitely has a uh, he has more room in this office than he does in the um, you know what turned out to be the final version of Resident Evil 2. back here. This is the one that was locked, yeah. Alright, so, um... Take a quick look at the map here. Yeah, this doesn't... I'm, 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 this is all Greek, you know? It's, I'm not sure where I am, and I'm also not sure where I've been. I think, though, that I have been in every room in this floor. Ah, screw you guys. So, I, I mean, it does look like there is a, um, you know, it's not just, like, oh, an exploration of the, you know, what, some of the, some of the, some of what could have been Resident Evil 2. It, there is definitely some semblance of a cohesive, uh, st oh boy. You know, it's not just like a demonstration. There there are items you can pick up, you know, and maybe some puzzles. 
might be simple puzzles because I imagine it would have been tough to program an entire, uh, you know, animation sequence and other such stuff that was probably not the most feasible. Alright, so there was an elevator here, not an elevator, but there was, um, somewhere along the lines there was, I think this way it took me to another, another stairwell. Yeah, alright. Oh, let's take me to the basement. This is somewhere I haven't been. Oh, wait, second floor basement? Alright, I'm just gonna go to the first basement first. Oh, shit, it is dark in here. And there is a zombie right there. Alright, yeah, let's get the fuck out of this room. It's fucking scary down here in this basement. Dark as shit. And it's gross. Oh, there's dogs. I really hope you guys die. This isn't like the zombies that'll just keep... You're not gonna die, are you? Oh my god, you did. Thank god something died. And it had to be a dog of all. I mean, I guess it would have rather been a dog than... Like, I'd rather not have dogs that don't die. Shit, reloading. Alright, it's time to get health. No, not yet. I'm still in caution. Oh, shit! Get the fuck off of me. Oh, shit, get the fuck off of me. Alright, I might be in danger now. I do have some blood stains on me, so there, so there was, um... Oh, shit! <laughs> Forgot that. Square is the bloody menu. Select. Alright, let's do some combining here. Man, they take a lot more bullets, though. I'll tell you that much than they did, uh... In any of the other games. Claire? Is Claire, uh, Cell? Or that's one of the dog's names? Well, I'm glad I came down here. Took a lot of damage. Wasted some ammo. Oh, wait. There is, uh... There, I didn't go down this way yet. Oh, yeah. There's nothing over here. I did go down this way. Yeah, that was awesome. Fucking enlightening. Oh, this fucking dark room zombie scaring the piss out of me again. Yeah, right. You just stay there for a while. I mean, you're obviously not gonna die because nothing in this game does except for the dogs. Holy shit, this guy's fast! Jesus, Mary and motherfucking Joseph, that was goddamn scary. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you know, I, I I do love this though. Like I'm because I've you know, it's like that. It's a new another new experience. I haven't had a new experience playing a uh, you know a third-person fixed uh, camera angle style Resident Evil game. Oh, shit! An item! Uh, the pliers. Oh, is that Sherry? Alright, so we're hitting some, like, getting some substance here to the, uh, you got trapped in here, right? Uh, it looks like you did. Or maybe she put herself in here. Uh, good idea. Stay quiet. Can I go in here? Alright, so... This is where I came from, right? Um... Yeah, like, I, I've, I've not played... A game, a Resident Evil game of this... Oh, shit. Uh, you know, like a fresh new Resident Evil game like this before and many a year, so it's like 
It's like a, a nostalgic kind of thing to be able to have a fresh experience like this. I'm glad I never watched a full, you know, playthrough of this ROM because I, I wouldn't. Then I would see shit coming. I would, it would that all that experience would not. I would not be having any of it. And there's a lot of zombies in this uh, parking garage. Starting to think that I, uh, I'm just kind of running in circles here, and that door is the. Uh, whoop shit. That door in the corner is where I should have gone. Yeah, I go here. This is where I fucking stu came from. <laughs> Alright, let's check out that map. All right, now I'm getting a view of where I come. Okay, so there is... No, there is nothing connecting me to anything there. All right, you know what? I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to stop here. You know, I made it to Sherry. There's a... Uh, you know, it was a bit of a nice little milestone there to get some player... I got the pliers and I got some interaction with another character. I think I'm going to stop here. I, maybe I'll come back to this. I don't know. It's uh, it, What do you guys think? Should I continue... Uh, you know, this Resident Evil 1.5 excursion, or, you know, should I just do something else entirely? Some interesting little posing there by Elza. Um, so, you know, I, yeah, because I'm, I'm about ready to just kind of go on to something else. So that'll be it for this, uh, Wild Card Wednesday. I, I had a lot of fun playing this. It was even the, as, as bare bones as it is, um, with... You know, as far as uh, just having a lot of spice, you know, like there's there's obviously bugs and everything too, but it's you know there's just a lot of. It took me a whole, this long to find an item that can be used as a uh, you know if it has some kind of functionality besides weapons and ammo, or weapons and health. Anyway, uh, but yeah, it was fun playing this anyway. It was uh, it's cool to experience it and. Uh, you know, we'll see what I do next week. Anyway, take care.